Aries. All right, Aries. This is going to be for anyone who has Aries in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, this reading will not resonate with every single Aries out there. Okay? All right, we are back in the regular cycle again. This is not the almost personal. This is going to be for the ones that are taken and for the ones that are single. Okay? The ones that are taken go first. The ones that are single, um, yours is after the ones that are taken. Okay? You do not have to be taken, taken. You could just be loosely involved with somebody as well. Okay? We're doing past, present, and future. All right? Let's see. For the ones that are taken or involved. All right? What's, for the ones that are taken or involved, what is the overall energy? What is the overall energy for the ones that are taken or involved for my Aries? All right. So some of y'all are right in the middle of a karmic relationship, okay? Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you, okay? So um, a lot of you are in connections that you're supposed to only just be learning from, which is not a bad thing, okay? Bottom of the deck says love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, and letting you know, okay? So we're going to figure out about that. All right, let's get into this. Uh-oh. All right, let's go past, present, and future. We'll clarify it. Keep it moving. All right, what's the past energy like for this couple or for these two people? The past energy, okay. All right, so you did have two cards come out. It's the Five of Cups in the universe. This may have been somebody you are done with already, okay? That you may not be around them anymore. This could be a Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or a Leo, okay? What's the current energy? This may be somebody you feel... Um, that you lost, lost, or they lost you, okay? The death came up in reverse, okay? Transformation. So somebody is trying not to let somebody go, okay? Is also what I'm seeing. All right, what's the most likely, um, this could be a Scorpio, like I said, too. What's the most likely outcome? Okay. The future outcome. Oh, I'm saying reunion. Okay. All right, so six of pentacles and the three of cups, okay? A spiritual union. Um, not you, I'm sorry. Rejoice in celebration and material and spiritual prosperity. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the lover's card. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Why, what happened in the past? Why did this end? Why did this end? Okay, that's way too much. <laughs> Why did this end in the past? This could be a Taurus or a Cancer as well. Ace of Pentacles. Someone may have tried to start elsewhere. May have tried to start something else elsewhere. With uh, possibly with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Okay, is what I'm seeing. Or someone may have just been focused on their money. Or someone may have moved. Is also what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody moving. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you have. To be honest, I feel like you have a love call coming in from somebody from your past. Okay, is what I'm getting here. The world card could definitely mean somebody's in a different part of the world than you are. With the Ace of Pentacles here, that's like a new home. So someone may have, someone may be at a distance from you. So that's why it feels like a loss um, with the Five of Cups here. Someone misses, someone definitely misses somebody. Okay, if not both of you, because I'm seeing a reunion. All right, tell me about this Death card in reverse. So I'm seeing somebody couldn't let somebody go. Okay, tell me more about this Death card. Y'all both love each other very much. Is also what I'm seeing with the lover's card. Scorpio energy here again. This definitely was a breakup, I feel. I feel like you have a major transformation coming in the present. Tell me about this tower. Tell me more about the tower. For Aries. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, four of wands try to come up in reverse. Somebody is still not, a, it's still hitting them hard. This could be another Aries. It's still hitting somebody hard that this even ended. Like, someone didn't expect that. Someone didn't expect the disconnect. You may have not have talked to this person in a while either. Okay? But I'm seeing someone that's really shy. <laughs> I'm seeing the shy one coming forward. For those of you that it matters to. Okay? All right. And in the near future, why are the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups here? Why are the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups here in the near future? Eight of Wands, same communication, communication out of nowhere for those of you. Um, somebody wanted to give to this connection. I'm seeing an equal give and take type of energy. This could be a Sagittarius, okay? Tell me, you know, and then on top of that, you have the hangman at the bottom. Someone may be, um, 
sacrifice and like, okay, hey, you know, I'm just gonna reach out. See, page of wands. This could definitely be a fire sign. I'm seeing somebody reaching out. Possibly the younger one is what I'm seeing. But somebody wants to nurture this connection. Someone wants to make it work. Okay, with the magician here. This could be another Aries. I see Capricorn here as well. I'm seeing you getting communication out of nowhere from somebody that you love very much. You may miss them. They may miss you. Okay. But I'm seeing the, I'm seeing physical distance between the two of you. Like a new home. I don't think it ended off of no like stupid shit, to be honest. Oh, why are these cards upside down? <laughs> these cards are in reverse. Okay. Any additional messages? See? Separation. I feel, see, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Some of you, if you're in a relationship, I'm seeing a disconnect. And then a reunion again. Okay, for others of you that's for the others of you that's in a connect in a relationship right now, like in a connection right now, I'm seeing in the present you going through a relationship, going through a breakup. Okay, it was a, a breakup that came out of nowhere, and then in the near future, I'm seeing you reuniting and talking to this person more often. Okay, bottom of the deck says make the effort. Okay, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so just keep that in mind when this person reaches out, make that effort to you know talk to them too. Because I do see y'all being separate. Okay. Some of you, this could have been a marriage that fell out. All right. All right. Let's go to singles. I need spirit to stop trying to flip my cards in reverse. I don't read reversals. Like I can, but I don't want to. <laughs> I feel like there's enough um, cards. Oh, it's going to be a Gemini. Sorry. With the lovers cards at the bottom too. But I feel like there's enough meanings with the cards upright. <laughs> All right, what's coming up in love for single Aries? What's coming up in love for a single Aries? What's coming up in love for single Aries? What the hell? Breakup, separation. Somebody's still focused on a breakup or a separation. It says stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Okay. Bottom of the deck says ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. Some of you, okay, I feel both energies, really. Like, somebody is still, okay, why is Axe here? Tell me more about Axe. Some of y'all are using your singlehood to prepare for another relationship. Yeah, seven of swords. Somebody may be still stuck on how they were uh, treated. Is all I'm seeing. This could be an Aquarius that you were dealing with. All right, can I get three cards for this uh, seven of swords that happened? And what do they have coming up? I'm seeing a new beginning with this person. And growth and prosperity. Taking a risk. Oh my God. Ten of cups. And the shit. I think somebody changed. Ooh, singles. You ain't even gonna believe me. Singles, I, if, if you were done wrong in the past, if you were broken up with or someone broke, if you broke up, if you broke up with somebody else, okay? The seven of swords in the act talk about uh, a breakup that happened between you and somebody um, that may have been caused by uh, cheating or sneaking around or lying. You have the empress here, you have the fool and the ten of cups. That's what's all coming up for you right now. So, and the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. And some of y'all don't even see this coming, okay? Um, the Empress, okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, or a Libra, okay? I see a new relationship with this person again. I'm seeing somebody taking that risk, taking that leap of faith here with the Fool card here into a relationship with this person. With the, possibly with the same person. Tell me about this ten of cups. And also the four of wands here tells about twin flame or soulmate. So this could be a soulmate of yours. Tell me about the ten of cups. Or this is the new connection you're getting into. You may be getting, dealing with a new person. Nine of swords. Some of you may be doubting this that a uh, relationship will ever happen again. Like, like. But you also have the four of pentacles at the bottom of this deck. So I feel like some of y'all are holding on to this past person still. I, and it could be a Gemini or Capricorn as well. Tell me about the fool. New relationship with the two. 
Page of Pentacles. Somebody who could be younger than you are or younger minded. This could be a Capricorn. Again, two of cups at the bottom of the deck. This could be a soulmate. Okay. Um, cancer energy. You have Capricorn here again. Something about the Empress. This could be somebody um, that you that has children or you have children. You could have children with them. I'm saying like happy family kind of energy in the near future for you. Like the relationship looks good. I just don't know with who. It could be a new person all together with a fool here. Nope. It's a friend of yours. Or reuniting with somebody. I'm seeing growth. This could be a reunion or this could be a friend of yours. Nah, this is, a, this is someone trying to make something right. Five of Wands, the Justice, and the Six of Wands. Okay. Leo energy, Libra energy. Also, I have Cancer here too. Okay. With the Three of Cups. This is somebody that's had you in some stupid shit. This is drama. Okay. This is conflict. Whether y'all were having conflict or there's competition outside the connection and you knew this, okay? Because I'm seeing it being done to you. Flip the roles as you, as you, you know, see fit. This Justice card talks about wanting something, you know, wanting to make th things right with you. Wanting things balance, you know, balance out the scales. Six of Wands is a victory. Somebody wants a victory with you, okay? They still love you with this King of Cups here at the bottom of that as well, okay? This could definitely be a soulmate. I feel... Oh, that makes sense. With the axe here, break up separation and stop the pattern. This person may have done this to you multiple times. I'm seeing a new beginning with y'all, though. And it's, with the ascending card, it says um, learning and expansion and new phase. Okay, preparing for union. I don't think the reunion has come up yet, though, because some of y'all are still focused on the breakup. Any additional messages? This <laughs> everything I just said, deception and soulmate. Everything I just said, okay, okay. Somebody is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have very soon. Okay, this person is coming in pretty soon. This person has not come in yet. Okay, if they have, please know this is your soulmate. If this resonates with you, this is your person. Okay, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, some of you have a decision to make. I feel like you're going to jump with this. I do. I feel like you're going to go ahead and go with this because you. I feel like you know that you have this kind of connection with this person. Okay? So just keep that in mind. And yeah, Aries, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.